Day in Lansing, protesters chanting and chanting in, uh, chanting in the Capitol Rotunda, upset over right to work legislation. It's being uh, floated around by Republican lawmakers. Opponents call the right to work laws anti union, while supporters say they're good for the economy and good for jobs. And the new this morning, we are learning that Republicans could actually put the controversial bill up for vote sometime today. And 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us with more on this live. Now, Kim, what kind of day is it going to be in Lansing? It is going to be a busy day and a loud day because Democrats and union leaders, they say they are going to fight this with numbers and noise. Crowds took over the Capitol building in Lansing yesterday, speaking out against making Michigan a right to work state. Right to work, you've got lower wages, less time off, less benefits, less retirement. Right to work is wrong for working families. I think it's the people responding as fast as they can uh, in response to, well, what this legislature is trying to do. They're trying to slip something in in this lame duck session, and people aren't putting up with it. The legislation would bar unions from collecting dues from non members. Union leaders say the goal is to weaken their organizations. Right to work supporters say the policy boosts the economy and jobs. Jobs. The legislation never came up yesterday, but this protest happened because Republicans and the governor have been talking about it. There are serious discussions occurring uh, with the Speaker of the House, the Senate Majority Leader, and the governor about whether uh, having freedom to work legislation is the right thing for Michigan and if this is the right time to do it. This would be the most divisive thing this legislature could tackle. And for what reason? Just to give the business community another victory. But it comes at the cost of workers across the state of Michigan. Now, protesters, they may be bringing numbers to the Capitol, but Republicans, they have may, they may have the numbers to get this passed. The question may be, will the governor veto it? That may be what they're trying to figure out right now. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.